everybody, welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pit Stain Hobbies. Um, yeah, I gotta have something playing in the background, even when I do this thing. I figured out how to get the camera and the eyeball thing to work, is I stuck a big Lego on top of it with his arms up, so I know to look at that little son of a bitch when I'm talking to him. I'm talking to the Lego, there we go. Uh, either way, uh, we did a thing, my fat body can block the entire box, even though it's a massive box. And uh, I've seen this on Barbados Rex's channel, and it looks pretty badass. And I suffer from Dusty Shop Syndrome. I don't know if anybody else does, but I don't have a spray booth. I just kind of wing it. And uh, I, have a, I had a box fan with filters, and it didn't really work very good. So we got this thing. Yes. Oh, boy. The Pace Industries 36-inch Peacekeeper. And uh, we're going to unbox it. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, uh, big box. This weighs about 50 pounds, and uh, I don't know which way it goes. Let's use our box opening tool here first, and uh, get her open. I hear bleeps and bloops coming from my buddies on Discord. I don't know if there's a live stream or not today, but I'm gonna, oh lord, solid, um, open, sort of, solid, Okay, back. I think this is the front. Is here. How do we unbox this freaking thing? I think it's absolutely flipping massive. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. Fragile. Oh, oh boy. They didn't know who they were selling this thing to, do they? Okay, up, uh, up, uh, oh dear God, whew, I'm assuming this was the top, oh my God, and, oh Lord, oh yeah, oh, now I have a giant, huge, massive box, okay, um, yeah, alrighty then. This thing is, uh, she's going up. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, my God. This thing's almost as big as my entire tool cart. Oh. The 36-inch Deluxe Peacekeeper. Okay. You know, I was like, I should get the big one. I should get the big one. And, uh, oh, boy. Because I was like, I don't know if the little, this 24 is going to be enough, but, oh, yeah. I went full send. I'll be right back. Holy, oh, it's big. <laughs> it is very big. Um, I've got a couple of mismatched uh, LED uh, soft white light bulbs inside, so let's see. Uh, oh, nice. And then we got the fan. So if, if I'm standing right near the outlet, obviously you could hear it, but let's see. That is not loud at all. That is great. So we got a standard four inch, um, like dryer vent size duct. And I bought a cheap window mounting thing for it. Cause you want to blow this air outside. You, they, they do the thing with the buckets. Hold on. I can't hear over my own fan. They do the thing with the buckets a lot of times online. Barbados even does the thing with the bucket. But he doesn't do the thing with the bucket for himself. He just shows you how to do something, in my opinion, questionable. Even with the bucket trick with water and carbon filters and activated carbon and charcoal and all that other stuff, there's still going to be some VOCs pumping out of that thing. So you want to vent this outside. All right? Outside vent. Uh, just like resin printing... The best bet is to ventilate those fumes out of the house, out of the basement, out of wherever the hell you're doing your thing. Um, but this should really help my dusty shop syndrome a lot. So I'm looking forward. I'm going to get this uh, window thing hooked up, and I'm going to get this thing on the bench turned around so I could use it. And I'm pretty excited. This thing is ridiculous. I mean, it's built by a, by a company that specializes in custom heating and ventilation ducts and things. So, like, it is... It is 
This is done proper with the proper like sheet metal pan head screws, heavy duty, you know, steel. It's, it's nice. And I mean, it's like the whole shipping box and this was like 51 pounds. So I'd say this is probably like 40, 45 pounds, 43 pounds, somewhere in that range. It's not light and it's three feet wide. Let's do a test with uh, something big. So here we go. Let's, let's see if it, uh, let's see if it eats an enterprise saucer. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. If you need, yeah, you could paint big things in here. Very big things. That is impressive. Let's get something else. Kind of, kind of large ish. Uh Oh, 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 danger. Will Robinson. So this, my shuttle Tidarium, when I go to paint it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put this right in front. I don't know if I'm going to leave this ledge. This ledge is removable. It gives you about, give or take about 10 inches of uh, depth here. Uh, it is quite nice. To go with the booth, I did get one of these, again, Barbados Rex, one of these Mr. Hobby spray brush bands that's magnetic, which is cool. That's not bad. Um, so yeah, we got that. It's nice. I might get another one. Actually, I'm going to 3D print one because the biggest reason I got this was because of this. This Procon Boy Radian, the, the PS290 trigger fan nozzle spray gun. This is for painting big stuff. And I paint a lot of big things. This puts out a crap ton of paint volume. And I'm going to be using a lot of lacquers in this. I'm going to be maybe doing primer through this. So Mr. Hobby primer out of the glass jar. So that's lacquer. Um, I'm going to use the new Tamiya lacquer paints on some projects. So that stuff is extra nasty and bad for you. Acrylic paint, not so bad. Um, still not great, but not so bad. But the lacquer paints, you really got to, you got to be careful with that. And you probably should still be wearing your respirator even while you're using this, just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's the big deal. Um, all right, well, I'm going to get this thing hooked up and I'm not going to spray spoons. Hey, check that out. You're going to see one of these spray boots and we're not going to be spray painting spoons, which I think is cheating a little bit because they're perfectly smooth and shiny and a nice, perfectly curved surface. Hmm. Wonder why I use spoons. I wish all models were just made out of spoons. I'd be a great painter. Either way, we'll be back. Dumbest modeling channel, as usual. Yeah. Mm. Well, here's our vent kit. Um, it, comes with, it comes with the window panels. Now, I have the vent on the pretty side of the window panels. Normally, if you're putting this in like a living room or your bedroom, you want these facing in. But I'm in a basement cesspool. So I, w I don't care if the ugly side faces in. I don't want my wife to say, honey, that thing sticking out of the basement window is atrocious. It's got to go. So I'm doing this side out, and it does have a little screen in there and a little flappies, and I tested it. And this damn, the, uh, the, the air, uh, the extraction fan, Jesus, Ian, is more than strong enough to just throw these flaps open instantly, like those little things on the friggin' back of a tractor trailer's exhaust pipes. Um, and this kit came with a single 4-inch hose clamp, some really cheap, really thin aluminum tape. We have much beefier aluminum tape at our disposal. Came with some of this uh, pretty garbage um, weather stripping uh, and some extra screws for some reason because it already came with four screws to screw this thing into the plastic. Um, but guess what it didn't come with? Because I don't read. Yeah, it didn't come with a four-inch uh, dryer duct. Um, paste does not include a four-inch dryer duct that I'm aware of unless... They're hiding it inside here somewhere. Negative. That's fine. Um, you know, this is not a cheap air booth. I kind of would have liked to get some of that four inch, you know, dryer tube. I'm, I'm sure it's a very cheap addition, but whatever. Uh, I guess this requires a quick run to the hardware store. Off to the depot I go. There you go. Oh, I forgot to turn on the lights and the sound again. It's really not loud. It's really not loud. It's so nice. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Made in the USA. Well, you can't see the sticker here, but it is made in the USA in Ohio by Pace Industries. It's very nice. Uh, we will continue after I get back from the hardware store because I'm a dumbass. All right.
One sec. All right, so we're back from Home Depot. Well, we're back from Home Depot, and then back when playing with this thing, and then we went to the Bahamas, and then we're back back now. So I got my window vent in, and I bought semi-rigid uh, dryer duct at the Home Depot. Um, now, if you're going to leave this in place, I like the idea of the semi-rigid. If you, however, are like me with single pane basement windows that leak a whole lot of cold air and you're going to pull this thing out of there and seal everything back up when you're done painting it, just get the cheap, floppy, super flexy stuff, in my opinion. Because this thing already started to break. You can see that I have some aluminum tape on there to uh, heal a wound that I've made. Um, yes, I know. I have to have every version of my sticker and fridge magnet on the side of my computer. Uh, it's, it's an archive. Okay. It's an archive. Um, but yeah, so we're pipe we're piped in the side and, uh, I'm going to get onto the spray booth cam. Uh, our last GoPro, uh, had an unfortunate incident. So I bought a, uh, four generation old brand new in the box GoPro hero eight to replace our old hero five, our trusty sidekick, uh, you know, side cam, you know, you have, you have your, you have your main, your main squeeze. Oh, 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 the stream cam's going crazy. Whatever. Okay, we'll be right back. So, so this might be a first for me, <laughs> painting live on camera. Um, so we, we broke out our, our Tamiya point, uh, our point two, I guess, because uh, we don't have anything very large to paint. But I did print out this little dog on my Ender 3 Pro. And, you know, he's okay, but he needs some primer. So what I'm going to do is use some of this. I have a ton of this. I, I tried using it once and it just stunk the basement up so bad that I got the call of shame from my wife that I stunk up the upstairs of the house, which is why we got the spray booth. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of this in a cup, pour her into the airbrush, and we're going to spray up this little doggy and uh, get them all black primered up um, because gray primer would be kind of pointless because I only had gray uh, pla to print with. Uh, if I had black pla, I would be priming him great, obviously. But we'll be right back. All right, so we're in the booth. We've got our paint, our primer. Oh, okay, uh, this just 50-50 mix of these two, or as close as I could get it by eye in my little mixing cuppy thing. And I'm gonna hit the fan now. Now, I'm using one of these fancy YouTuber Rode wireless go mics so it really is good at hiding background noise but um i can still hear my overhead space heater is five times louder than this thing and i did fix my airflow arrow is pointing the proper direction um from when i was unboxing this a little earlier in the video uh we're just gonna load up the tamiya let's uh get this toothpick out of here there we go. My wife's probably wondering where the hell all the toothpicks in the kitchen have gone. Put a little paint in there. And this is, I think this is the first for me. And spraying in the spray booth on the spray booth cam. Now I'm running about 20 PSI through my 0.2 needle Tamiya. And this Mr. Hobby 1500, woof, I already blew through it all. Um, I don't have anywhere to stand my dog. But there is literally zero smell of nasty primer in front of me. Um, so there's two, ways to, there's two ways to describe this Pace Industries uh, Peacekeeper is either it has extremely good extraction strength and volume or it really sucks um, in the funniest way. I hope Bob Pace does not get insulted by that. He'd probably giggle a little. Oh, and I just spilled some paint. Not to worry. Even with lacquer primers like this, and I mean, I'm blasting out. I'm going about 20 PSI, and I could see the cloud of cancer that's forming in here. And no smell. And the reason they call this thing the peacekeeper, 
and I'm just I'm just dousing this thing with paint. It is a plot print out of an Ender 3 Pro. But yeah, I mean she's good and goopy. Get your cowlick there, little buddy. Okay, that's looking good. Um, and uh, I did, uh, I got paint everywhere and all over there. So I'm going to clean up my mess and I'll be right back. And the nice thing about cleaning up our mess is we can use the good stuff. You put this on a cutting mat, you'll still have a cutting mat, but all your grid lines are gone. Ask me how I know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to clean this disaster area up and we'll be back once this is dry. But, um, this is pretty amazing. This is, this is, uh, I have to place this in the life changing hobby equipment category of, uh, holy crap. I didn't know what I was missing out on by not having a proper spray booth. The reason they call this the peacekeeper is because when I first tested this on a live stream, I was spraying with an even with a point with my point five, uh, Mr. Hobby, uh, GSI Creos, whatever the hell you want to call it, Pro Comboy. That's it. And I was I was spraying nasty stuff like this, and I did not get the phone call from the wife upstairs going, "What are you doing down there? We're dying from this horrible smell." And I got zero of that. I actually called her and I said, "Hey, do you smell anything funny in the house?" And she's like, why? And I'm like, no, I'm serious. Do you smell anything? I'm using the new spray booth. And she goes, no, I don't smell a damn thing. And I go, okay, perfect. And she goes, is that ugly white thing going to stay in the window all the time? I said, no, I'm going to pull it out. Um, which is why I said get the soft flexi tube. Because I'm not going to leave my vent in the window 24-7. It's also a security risk. Because um, someone could cut through the uh, screen mesh over my windows and just kick that thing in and push the window open. Climb into my basement. And, you know, who knows what. So I prefer security over convenience. I will take that thing out of the window. I'm going to go back to Home Depot. I'm going to get the, the super soft, cheap flexi duct. I'm going to use that instead. Uh, because the semi-flexible, rigid, or semi-rigid, whatever the hell ducting, it just wants to fall apart on you if, you, if you're over-manipulating it. Um, anything you over-manipulate, you could damage. There is an adult joke in there somewhere. I'll be right back. All righty. So we're all done there. We've, we've shut down the lights and the fan in here just so that my studio lights can pick up our little doggy pretty well. This GoPro, uh, I got a Hero 8 black for like nothing on eBay. Brand new in the box because the current model I think is the Hero 12. But yeah, spray booth cam, I'm pretty proud. There's an echo coming out of this thing I can hear in my own ears. Um, so this is awesome and these filters are super cheap. You know, um, I got a, I got a couple spares here at Home Depot for, for really only a few bucks each. And they'll probably last quite a long time. But yeah, there we go. Uh, one thing is, I love airbrushing this Mr. Hobby, uh, Mr. Finishing Surfacer. It's beautiful. I-1500 here, I probably should have used like 500 or 1000 because the 3D print lines are still a little visible. But we've got good, even coverage, so... Uh, well, the paint spray is great, and this thing sucked all the fumes out, and I really didn't smell anything. I did a test without a respirator on, and I smelled nothing. So without any carbon filtration going on, that means this thing was sucking so hard that there wasn't a chance for the stuff to enter the rest of the environment of the hobby workshop area, the, <laughs> the garage, basically, and my little puppy... Um, this might be my first painted 3D print that I do. And uh, my whoopsie that I spilled cleaned right up with acetone, no problem. So either way, um, it's a very cute dog. I'm gonna paint this up. I might paint it up to look like one of my English Bulldogs because other than the fact that it, it does have a tail, uh, English Bulldogs generally don't. Uh, yeah, this thing is amazing. Uh, they call it a peacekeeper for a reason. And uh, I did not get the phone call of doom that I've been stinking up the house. And uh, I'm not giving myself cancer. So that's a nice thing, you know. Um, you know, my father's fighting some, some cancer. And uh, I kind of, you know, I'm getting a little older. And I'm like, you know, you can't just wild west it as much as you used to down here. 
um, you might need to take some precautions. And there's people on Facebook, and it was funny, it was because today there was a question like, oh, spray booth, what do I get, you know? Uh, what's good? My old plastic one from Amazon started falling apart, and it's duct taped together. I want to get a metal one. What do I get? And a lot of people said the pace. And one dude was like, I've had my pace for 20 years, and it's still going strong. And that right there, my friends, and this was in like a pretty hardcore-ish scale modeling group on Facebook. I won't name names, but they're pretty brutal. Um, and yeah, a lot of people were saying the pace, and I'm very happy with the pace. And Mr. Bob Pace, thank you very much for making such a fine product for so long. Um, you don't always need the 36 inch um, for little things. You know, if you're just if you're just doing 35th scale models ish, the 24 is going to be more than enough for you. This 36 is massive. I mean, this thing is like this is like watching the Coneheads movie, and and seeing that seeing that coneheaded chick down that foot long at Subway in like two bites. You know, Chris Farley was sitting there, and he's just like, holy God, I haven't seen anyone eat a sandwich like that since my mother. Or something like that. I might be getting the quote wrong. But this thing will swallow anything you throw at it. So, two thumbs up for the amount of suck. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I put a link down below. I don't make any money off that link. I'm just giving you a link to get to find um, this amazing spray booth. Uh, the Pache uh, brand has a spray booth. I believe it's more of kind of a, like a build-it-yourself sort of thing. And I don't know. This is, this, is, this is the Cadillac. Or, well, Cadillac's kind of crappy now. This is the Lexus. of sp There we go. That's more like it. Reliable lasts forever. Everyone's happy with it. And it's just amazing. So thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, I'm going to... Maybe I'll paint this dog on a live stream. You guys, uh, check out the Hobby Time Modelers on YouTube. If I remember to put a link, I'll put a link. But uh, that's where we do our drinking and our pissing and our moaning and our cursing and our rando stuff, uh, Friday nights and Sundays. And either way, uh, if you want to get the buy me a coffee link, I, th I should just switch to Patreon because people like see a buy me a coffee link and they're like, no, I guess I'll do a Patreon at some point. I don't know. Uh, my Amazon store is down below where I get all my other stuff that I use on the workbench. But uh, I am absolutely in love with my new spray booth. It's so choice. I highly recommend it. Two thumbs up. Adios, everybody. I'll see you next time.